Hello, my name is Tiger San and welcome to Immersive Let's Plays. Today we're gonna start a first video of Fallout 4. What I have in plans is creating a character that I haven't seen a lot of people create or talk about, which is a brawler, fist fighter. So we're gonna make a obviously buff female that's going to be fighting everybody with her bare fists. And kicking some ass too. So let's start. Uh, not continue. Sorry. Let's start a new game. <clears throat> I don't want to continue with some of my old characters because this is about a new character. So yeah, we're gonna make a new character. Yeah, I need to invest some more money into fucking solid state hard drives because the regular hard drives, as you can see, take a long time to load. Okay, I think we can skip the intro because everybody knows it. Let's make a girl. I already know the name for her. Her name is going to be Mia. War never changes. You're gonna knock a. him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hey, my turn, big guy. Yes, it's her turn. Get the fuck out. And this is the face I'm going to base everything on. I'm going to make her jaw a little bit more square. <clears throat> My beautiful wife. Blue eyes. Uh, I'm not sure about that color. Isn't there anything that is really bright blue? I think Sean has my okay, eyes. Okay, let's, let's use this eye color. <clears throat> Blonde, brunette, purple. It all looks good on you. Purple? Really? Uh, I already picked a color. Style now, please. <clears throat> Most of those hairstyles are pretty terrible. Hmm. And I think this is the style I pick. <clears throat> I like it the most, and I think her nose is a little bit too big. I have the best hairdresser, I swear. Oh, God. Such a cute nose. No. Sweetie, you like my nose, right? Yes, we want it pretty. Perfect. And I think it's a little bit too much upturned. <clears throat> hmm. 
I'm not sure, but I think I like this actually. Uh, the mod that I'm using, pretty much, um, you can shape the body, but it doesn't matter at all because I'm using the mod that replaces the body mesh. So whatever you do here does not have an effect on the game it itself. <clears throat> Ooh, look at those arms. Awesome. Ah, good morning, Yeah, I wish they made an animation that actually showed her picking up the cup and drinking from it. Huh. More of the same. <clears throat> Wouldn't that be awesome? Now who left those here? Oh, sounds like someone made a stink. It's a little early, are you drinking? <laughs> I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. Good old U.S. of A. A lot of late nights. It was worth it. <laughs> so a lawyer is going to become a brawler. I guess. <clears throat> Uh, I just drank some water from the sink. Uh, it's that salesman again. I don't know I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. <clears throat> Good morning, Voltec calling. Go on. Nice to find you, ma'am. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I'm here now. So you are. So you are. Now I know you're a busy woman. So I like this I won't attitude. Take up much of your time. <clears throat> I'm being um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault. One eleven. Look, I, I, I'm really busy. Oh, of course, of course. This won't take but a moment. It's just a matter of verifying some information. <clears throat> to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, <coughs> total atomic annihilation. The apocalypse? Well, hell, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> now. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. Start with the name. Mia. Maxed out on strength. Endurance on two. Intelligence on one. Agility on nine. This build is going to require strength and agility foremost, and luck is just for uh, <clears throat> critical rolls, pretty much. Agility is so that you can sneak better and you can perform criticals better. Strength is obviously for damage. All the other, uh, <clears throat> all the other uh, stats are so low because you don't really need it with this build. You don't really need them. I'm not really creating this build to roleplay. 
I mean, I may be role-playing, but thankfully it does not make your character sound stupid when you go to Intelligence 1. But for example, Intelligence 1 is necessary for the build that I'm making because you can get Idiot Savant perk, which makes you gain a lot of experience the lower your intelligence is. So technically, with 10 more points, 9 more points to spend somewhere else, you're going to be leveling as fast as you would with Intelligence 10. So I freed up 9 points to put in Agility, thankfully, thanks to that, instead of putting it in Intelligence. And you're going to be leveling pretty damn fast. Charisma, I mean, it doesn't really do much, except selling and buying, but this build is not based on equipment much. Only thing we're gonna do later on is get a ballistic weave and wear le regular clothing that have a lot of armor and um, energy energy uh, protection. And that's pretty much it. All we need is power with hitting. And um, she is beautiful anyway, even if she has one charisma. So perception does not really... <clears throat> do much considering we're gonna go up in some perks that are gonna make it easy for us to detect mines and stuff like that so that's totally unnecessary so I think this is the best way to distribute the special points for this build particularly <clears throat> wonderful that's everything uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault congratulations on yeah being prepared for the get the fudge out man Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my <clears throat> moments. Miss Mia, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to. You gotta love out. the fact that Cos word actually pronounces your name. Well, only the ones that he has. I'll be there in a second to help. Saved somewhere in his memory. My boy isn't giving his mother <clears throat> any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? That's a familiar melody. That's my boy on his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Oh, right. The park. With you. Because I want to get pregnant again. Sir? <laughs> Mom? You should come and see this! <clears throat> Codsworth? What's wrong? Alright, let's start this game already. Yes, followed by flashes. Blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have what? lost contact with what our did he say? stations. Flashes. He oh, said no. flashes. Did you hear? We do have coming in. That's um confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. I like how her face came out. She looks pretty good and awesome. Oh my god. We need to get to the vault. Now! Alright. Let's go. <clears throat> The funny thing is, or is actually not funny, is that all the females look the same. They all have buff physiques, which kind of sucks. But as of now, there's no way to make it look better. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'm reporting this. If you're in the program, stop throwing it up. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, sir. You follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. <clears throat> Step on the platform in the center. 
Why in the center? I want to be not in the center. Fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! Hey! Fireworks! Awesome! Hold on! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Sorry guys, I just had my dinner. Every time after I eat, I had that thing stuck in my throat and I have to like <clears throat> get it out. You're okay. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. I feel no like in worry, prison. Folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just Yes, up the stairs. All time is here for you. No, 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 don't get caught up. Female, You're safe now. Welcome. Good. Step over to the table. Take a suit. You'll need your suit. Well done. Pick up a suit right over there. Now, just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? Start moving. I'll follow you. This is our new home. <clears throat> oh, you're gonna this love way, it, please. Yeah. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in DC. How Why am I walking down? faster than you? Oh, we'll be what going over all that in orientation. Just a few stuff. medical items but we have to get through first. Maybe it's the agility. I'm not sure. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Speak, man. Just step in here and put your vault suit up. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. I wish they made Fallout with a little bit more open beginning. Occupant vitals. Because this kind of puts you in the very complete. narrow role you're a wife you had a kid you had a husband you had a house so it kind of makes it not really probable for you to become a brawler or badass wasteland fighter or soldier or whatever unless you had some kind of background maybe but she was a fucking lawyer there was a diploma on the shelf so I'm not sure this is you know you can role play whatever you like this this nobody stops you but it it would be nicer if they made an open beginning so you could pick whether you want to start in a vault or in the wasteland and where in a wasteland you want to start this is game and uh, yeah maybe there would not be so much as much of a story but they could make a story that does not involve you being a vault dweller it's all possible I wish they could do that maybe I heard that Fallout 5 is already in the development but it's probably gonna be a few more years I'm curious what they're gonna be Creating when it comes to the story and stuff. <clears throat> you ugly face, I'm gonna get you. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna get you. And it's not gonna take that long, obviously. Actually, I mean. Actually, I have no idea how would this work. I have never been uh, hibernated. <clears throat> Come on. There has to be a 
release. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. As far as this story goes, I like it. And it's, you know, talking to my emotions. <clears throat> All right, let's get this rolling. Let's get this ball rolling. I think there was uh, some ammunition here in one of those bobby pin, wonder glue. Obviously not here. Roaches. Very nice way to get what rid of the roach. Very effective way to get rid of the roach. Where was the ammo? I remember there was ammo somewhere here. Let me change the field of view. Is this always too narrow? In, in my taste, too narrow for my taste. Recreational terminal. Well, actually, we don't need recreation right now. see shit but I killed it haha -ha. what happened here where is everyone obviously here's one guy right here he doesn't feel so good There's some more stamp packs and ammo and the pistol. But I remember there was more ammo somewhere. I 
You know, there is more ammo in the pistol. And even more ammo. Nice. Coming back later for you. Cigarette back. No. There is some more ammo. Yeah, when apocalypse happens, ammo and weapons is something you're gonna need very much. Me, it doesn't smoke, so we don't need cigarettes. <clears throat> Try it later. Can we open this? Mm, obviously not. There's no way to open cryo later from here. Oops. And actually, I don't want a pistol, but I don't have a pit bull yet, so I can't switch the weapon. Can I? No, I can't. Sixty. No, that's too late. Eighty. Now that's better. Die! Oh, it takes you a really long time to make up your mind, Mia. You need to be faster than this. Alright, looks like you kicked their asses. Almost literally. I love vets. <clears throat> oh, I don't have the pit boy yet. See ya. I like that they made it animated now versus older fallouts. Okay, and I wanted to do that because I needed a flashlight and Pet Boy can do that. Yes, there is more ammo. Even more ammo. Yeah, the more ammo, the better. Okay, that's the door. Then it won't work. How about we get the fuck out of here? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Yay! I think I'm happy with the appearance. Maybe let's just try different hairstyles. I'm not sure about the hairstyle. Let me just try this. No, not forehead. I was thinking about this one. Or maybe this one. Ooh, I like this. Okay, let's leave this style on. Finished. Enjoy your return to the surface and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. I didn't choose Vault Tech. I did not have any choice because my family would have died if I did not go there. That's a no choice situation. about to say fresh air but not really Actually, use a pistol versus a baton. Wow. Person taking care of the grounds and garden here. Groundskeeper should be fired. For fudge sakes, really. Don't cry, cows were relaxed, chill. Codsworth, you're still here. So other people could still be alive too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International. <laughs> but you will seem the worse for wear. Best not let the hubby see you in that state, huh? Where is Sir, by the way? He's... in a better place. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these 
terrible things. Uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. And I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna get my baby back. It's yeah, like I said, so basically the story is about you finding your son from hunger induced paranoia. And then you spend Not years just years will do that, I'm afraid. Doing everything except finding your son. Two hundred years? What? <clears throat> Are you sure? A bit over two hundred and ten, actually, Mum. It will take a little for the Earth's rotation and some Minor dings to the old chronometer. That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack if you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I. I. Uh, Mum, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed. But oh my god. Nuclear fallout from vinyl. <laughs> nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. And the car. The car. How do you polish Rust. Huh. The thing is, cars don't rust. Cars don't rust overnight, so you have to let it rust, Cosworth. Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came, and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were were dead. I. I did find this hollow tape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. Here, I'm not gonna need a pistol. It's a waste of ammo. Let's kill some bugs. Oops. Nice. She cut that bug in half. <laughs> With the baton. Wait. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. What's all this then? Found you. No, not Cosworth. Miss Mia, don't worry. My Miss Mia, your, your family isn't here either. They're, they're really gone, aren't they? Wow, you really thought you've been living here for 200 years and you thought there's somewhere in those other houses? Codsworth. Miss Mia? Sir and young Sean? They aren't here. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, Mum. What about the city? 
Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. <laughs> only a few times? I like these people already. Oh, good! Maybe you'll get along then, and they can help you find young Sean. <laughs> I shall remain here and secure the home from <sighs> Wonderloo. Glue and uh, scotch. And all everything that glues something, it's very useful when making modifications for your weapons. If in case you're wondering why I keep picking up the glue, adhesive in general is very useful in World of Fallout. For example, with a piece of pipe, adhesive and magnifying glass, you can make, uh, and of course, a scale to do that. You can make a uh, scope. Yeah. Something different to wear than this shit. Yeah, it looks, looks different. Not a lot of skin showing, but um, we're gonna kill some. We're gonna kill some uh, raiders there, so we're gonna get some awesome outfits, hopefully. <clears throat> And until we get to level f four, I think, until we get a uh, perk called Blitz, which allows me to attack someone instantly with fists, then I guess we need to just wait. Hey, doggy. You're just like Lydia in Skyrim. You get in a way and you don't help much. But okay. Hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? <coughs> you lose your owner, buddy. <laughs> okay then, let's stick together. Yeah, let's stick together. There's gonna be some molar ass here if I remember right. Did you find something? Cigarettes are not necessary. I don't need them. Caps are going to be useful. Good doggy. <laughs> Dog meats took care of those assholes. 
And there's gonna be some giant mosquitoes, I think, over there. More Morass. Let's take care of those. Damn. And now we got some of this. I hate those things. Very much. <clears throat> Normally to kill that thing with a with a baton would take quite a long time. Considering she's her strength is nine, almost maxed out. No, her strength is ten. Is it? I forgot. Ten, yeah, her strength is maxed out, so And here, I think we're gonna need some ranged firepower. Hundred twenty-seven bullets and pipe revolver, twenty-three bullets. Okay. I kind of forgot. All right. Danger. Really? Change field of view, yes, I did. Headshot. That wasn't a headshot, but so pretty good. I think we're gonna get some outfits from her. Um, coming from where did you come from asshole okay so let's level up first this idiot savant intelligence No, it's luck. And this one. Requirements not met? Hmm. 
Hmm. It appears I fucked up a little bit. But I guess we can help each help ourselves this way. I don't mean to be cheating, but I just miscounted. And I need to have this particular skill right now. That will give me three times the XP every time I get XP. Well, not every time, but sometimes. My favorite outfit so far, which kind of sucks. Hold on, Johnny boy. I need to. Search for more raiders. The outfit I'm looking for is a harness. Maybe that's it. No, that's definitely not it. Huh. I don't even remember half of those outfits. Obviously this one has not been adjusted to the muscular body size that's yeah, just a hood that's it where are my outfits Well, panties are not going to do much. How about this? Who did rags? Yeah, I guess it kind of looks cute. So for now, I'll we'll just stick with it. I need some more outfits, definitely. Let's see if there's more bodies. Dog, you're starting to annoy me. Maybe there's some more bodies lying around somewhere. Nope. Okay. I know there's some more. Uh, 
There's some more raiders inside. And uh, let's add the new weapon as number three. Laser musket, there it is. Actually, let's try to do some damage with fists. I know this character has just started, so she's not going to be that good at it. But She's got my outfit. One that I like. A harness. There we go. That's my outfit. All I need now is gloves. And boots. Leather boots. Get the fuse. I still haven't figured out what the hell is this going on because it says, okay, likeness, two letters are the same. So I'm trying to actually figure out which word has some of the two letters in the same two letters, and I try to many times like. It supposedly is here, but it never works. <laughs> so it's better to just try to hit it by luck. You shot my dog. You asshole, you shot my dog. How do I go upstairs? I think. She just broke his neck. 
Yeah, and see what I'm saying? This is a wife that had a kid and a husband, and now she's fucking killing people with her bare fists. And then it's not really believable in my opinion. As awesome as it looks, I love it, but you know, it's not really believable. I just love this build. It's more fun than you could ever think. Okay, one more. Excuse me. You said something, Sonny Boy. To you is Miss Mia. Not bitch. Inside. Thank you, dog. Could you please hold your pants? Man, I don't know who you are, but Jet Hammond's impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. God damn it. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Oh, that ain't Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home, a fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's all Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. Baby. You really are from around here, are you? <sighs> nope. Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and live for a long time, huh. but they're still just people. Ah, oh, that ain't it. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. God anyway, damn it. we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But well, raiders are fun. Idea. Raiders are fun. What would fall be without raiders? There would be nothing to do around here. Right? Will it be enough to stop those maniacs? Sturgis, tell it. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. There's a crashed old vertebrate. You might have seen it. Vertebrate. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. 
We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? And I can use the minigun like a rifle. Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. Now, as for the armor, it's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. Yeah, all you need but is some, some orange stuff. juice. So if you have some orange juice, just pour it in and it's gonna work, man. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You can give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe yeah, I'll I tore the gate out. apart with my bare hands the and I grabbed the core. You grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Yeah. All right, let's save it here. You're not what I... Careful, kid. There's something... There are more of you. Right? Yeah. What? It's angry. What? You old lady, okay? I'm so sorry. You've been drinking on some grandma juice so, so much? I'm so sorry. What the hell? Dude, keep it together. Ma'am, now look who dog me brought to us. So he's your dog? Ah, uh, he ain't my dog. No, sir. Dog me, he's what you call his own man. You can't own a free spirit like that. But he chooses his friends and sticks with them. He'll stay by you now. You saw it? It's the chems, kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. So you're old junkie, pretty much. Ha! Ha ha! What's the sight? I can see a bit of what was and what will be. And even what is right now. Yeah, I don't need camps to see what it is right now, lady. Right now, I can see this something coming. Drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. Angry. Wow. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more. Please. I'm I'm sorry, kid. But I just don't know. The sight ain't. You need some more jet? Here. I don't have any jet, but I'll bring oh, it some more. And I tell you, it ain't a raider. Hey lady, I deal with anything that shows up. <sighs> I live in a present. I'm tired now. Okay, go to sleep. And if I ain't mistaken, you go to sleep, Mama Murphy. To yes, I do. You go to sleep and let me. With. Are you listening to me? No. Oh. Uh. Oh, no. Why? Why? Yeah. You all right? Oh no 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 what? Oh my God. Perception bubblehead. Yeah, that's nice. The minute. So we got two perception now. 
Right? Right. You were supposed to protect us. Awesome. Garby promised. He promised. Lady, keep it together. Get your shit together and maybe help him a little bit. If you don't have any weapon skills, just throw rocks at them for fuck for fudge sakes. See, I always liked the idea of power armor in past fallouts, but in this fallout I never use it actually. Because especially with this build, it's useless. Let me save this. It makes you unable to sneak. Up here. Boss, we got somebody up here. Did you see that? Oops. His head fell off. Show me that fancy gun up close. Oh, I'll see if you can get past my boy. I'll give you that. Still waiting, asshole. Yeah. You're a tough one, I see. Yeah, you're wrong, motherfuckers. Eyes on his health. Changing. What the hell is that? Okay, let me try again. I will if he stop showing me. Really? Get the hell away from me, asshole. All my... Wow. 
start running. Really run! Oh my god, start running! What the hell is this? <sighs> Breathe. I don't need this shit. I don't need this shit either. Ah! Please run. Don't crouch. Just run. Oh, I didn't even know you could... Okay, run! to get inside the building. Huh? Sorry. Hey, stop shooting. I'm not shooting. I don't, not to you. Jesus Christ. Somehow, I always had it a lot easier to kill that thing. For some reason it took me a long time this time, I'm not sure why. Yeah, looks like we got everybody. But believe it or not, I'm not sure what level my other character was that I build with this build. She can kill Deathclaw with her bare hands. Yep, that's how awesome this character is going to be. Hmm, I'm not sure what I have. I'm pretty sure I have like three. Yeah, exactly. Three of those. Two of these. You don't need that. So you can... I have an add-on that allows you to make your character look like schoolgirl, pretty much. Which is kind of useless in Wasteland setting. So I'm never actually dressing my character like that. Okay, and I got 169 ammo left, which is not bad. Okie dokie, so I guess we're just gonna get to Sanctuary, and I'm gonna finish this episode right there. Pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you're on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? 
Yeah, for a while anyway. We can at least move some. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did, and we owe you our lives. So here, yeah. it ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. You're welcome, anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been. Cause there's more to your Lady, destiny. Lady, Mia is as strong as it gets. And she killed raiders with her bare hands. Pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You are a woman out of time, out of hope, but all is not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I'm listening. Look, kid, I know how I sound. The sight, it's weird, and it ain't always clear. But your son's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. A great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. But well, this lady has a weird way of doing everything. Picture. She starts this whole shit about the site. It's gonna kill you. She gives her hope. And now she's like, look, kid, I, I really don't want to do this. And like, now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. That's kind of weird. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading yeah, it is safe. Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hold on, turn out hold any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> we owe you. Yes, you do. But you don't have anything to pay me with, actually, that I would be interested in. Because I'm not even interested Let's in the out. weapons. I'll take point. Stay close, everyone. We're right behind you, boss. Since my character is weapon free. And my character that I build first with this build, unarmed build. I got it to level, I don't remember, 21 I think, and at level 20, she could kill fudging. I'm very glad it's already dead. Super mutants with one one hit, with one strike with to the face. It was awesome, and she could actually fight Death Claw. Barehanded. Granted, with the death claw is a little bit more challenging, but if you have a few stim packs, you could survive it and kill a death claw with your bare fists. Where are you going? <clears throat> Don't worry. I'll get these people to sanctuary. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit dark, guys. Sorry. 
At least I don't have an EMB installed here. I probably should, because the game looks a lot better. The Fallout 4 looks good as it is. But if I had the EMB installed here, we wouldn't be able to see shit. Nothing. Man, this is one thing that annoys me. Couldn't these guys be running? Ugh, can't say I'm gonna miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Uh, no offense if you're from here or something. <laughs> Not directly from Concord. Where are we going, Marcy? Don't worry, June. Just stay with me. It'll be fine. Oh. O okay. We need to keep moving. Oh my god. Why can't we just run there? I want to get out of this power armor. I have actually never used power armor in Fallout 4. Even when I had regular build characters using weapons. But guess what? Well, Next episode I think I just found my new vacation home. It's going to be fun. Could be some good salvage in there. Because we're gonna go to first, Raider Camp. And there is shitloads of them there. And we're gonna kill them all with our bare fists. I mean Mia is. A key that I picked up from one of the raiders, Corvega assembly plant. That's where their hideout is. Those raiders that were attacking Concord City are from that Corvega assembly plant. So next, we're gonna go there. Well, not in this episode. Well, damn. But it's the monument to the original Minutemen. I knew that was somewhere around Concord. That means this right here must be the Old North Bridge, where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. I'd call that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Yeah, I'm I don't know what you're talking about, about boss. I should have well, listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here, make it a place to call home. What do you think? You want to know what I think? Yeah, I used to like living here, before the war. What do you mean, before what war? Are you saying... I lived here, over 200 years ago. I, I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn, like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Just my son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, sorry, guys. I wish I it was a little bit brighter. You can't see even you even can't see their faces as they talk. But I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there, many men out there. Somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minuteman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Minuteman could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgeon. Another sure level. I'm glad for Good. all the help he can get. Yeah, dude. Well, you've been talking here. Everybody's already there. 
And now I need to leave this core is low. I know it's low, but I'm gonna need this friggin' power armor. Me, I looks better without power armor. So I can't wait. Oh, I forgot. In Fallout, to wait, you have to sit down. Actually. Yeah. Hello, muscles. Let me sit down and wait. Is there anything I can sit down on? Yep. It's kind of stupid. As uh, one a.m., so let's wait six hours. Oops, that's not the exit. All righty. So, this was the first episode of Fallout 4 Let's Plays at Immersive Let's Plays. And this is Mia, who's going to be killing stuff with her bare hands. Thank you for watching. Hit a like or a dislike and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the, uh, the clips that I'm making. And see you uh, at the next video I upload. Bye!